In the next three minutes, I'm gonna show you how to create images like this, transferring style from one image to another using the style reference feature in Leonardo AI. So I created these two images using Leonardo AI, and basically it is an angelic steampunk princess. I use Leonardo Lightning Excel and Alchemy, and you can see the settings I have here, dynamic. It's just some of the basic settings to get started. But before I go any further, I just want to mention that Leonardo AI are sponsoring this video and there's a link in the description. But if I want to add a style transfer, I come over here to image guidance. And where it has image input, I'm going to click here to add an image. So I can choose any one of these images that I have here. I'm going to use this one here to influence the style of the output and we can compare it to the original images. Now you can also upload your own images here but we'll click confirm for now. And now I have image to image. I click on this drop down here and I choose style reference. Now you see here we have low, medium, high, ultra, and max. This is the amount that this image will influence our prompt. I'm gonna start with the default being high and we're gonna see what Leonardo AI gives us. So I'm gonna head back to generation history. So you get one more look at these images, but I'm gonna hit generate. And you can see here, they've got that softer peach out kind of look to them. If I put some of these images side by side and show you the reference image, you can see that it actually carries some of that style over. And not just the color, but even the soft lighting and the fact that there's a window in the scene, it's really implemented it quite well. But coming back to Leonardo AI, what happens if we go back to image guidance and we try each of these levels? Let's try a low, mid, high, ultra, and max so we can compare the difference. Now you see here with the low setting, it uh, has barely had an impact compared to the original and that pink and sort of like peachiness is kind of not there, but you move up to mid and it slowly starts to step in, even with a little bit of a gold light coming in from the side. We go back to our original, which is high, somewhere in the center. It has a nice balance of the two and creates a pretty nice soft looking image. We move up to ultra and now things are really starting to look pretty peachy and it's really starting to match that uh, that image but we go to max and it's almost a little too much where it's kind of got like that super clean 3d look and it's really lost a lot of the detail but that's because the image is a simple low detail image it's done a great job of applying that style to this image place them all side by side and what you can see is a very definite blend from one end of the spectrum to the other now i decided to experiment a bit and tried a few different images and put the settings on ultra and you can see how it's sort of applied those colors and some of the elements into that scene and it's had a very heavy impact on the final result. And of course, you could take this a step further by prompting in some of the information to coincide with it, but this is just the base function of having a simple prompt with an image sort of added to it. But it doesn't just stop there. So before I do go any further, one thing I do want to mention this feature only works with Excel models or Lightning Excel models. I'm using Lightning Excel here, which works really well, but it may result in softer generations. For the better quality, I recommend using non-Lightning models. But moving on, there is actually more to it than that. What I can do, if I head over to Image Guidance, I can pick a style image here, such as this one, confirm, and I can also combine it with another image, but there is still some limitations. If I decide to click an image, this time I'm going to go to my generations and you could upload an image for this as well, but I'm going to say stick with this image here and hit confirm. So this was generated with a different style reference to this image here, but the only options we have, if we choose, we can't choose image to image as it doesn't work with our current model, but we can choose any of these other things like depth to image, edge to image, pose to image. This is a pretty basic sort of pose. So I would rather go with edge to image and I'm gonna bring that strength up a bit. I also need to make sure that my style reference is set to style reference. And I'm gonna put it up to ultra. And now we can actually use this image as a base for how that image should appear. So I'm gonna click generate and notice how we've managed to get that style, but with the same layout as the input image. So this is really, really handy. You can combine certain image prompts together to take a little bit more control over your image. And this is where 
things like Leonardo AI really shine. The amount of control you have over the AI as opposed to simply rolling the dice is incredibly powerful. A few more examples of how you can use this is using edge to image and uploading say a blank t-shirt, you can create mock-ups or if you use any other type of image like that. Also exchanging a photograph and then applying a style to it also gets you some pretty cool results. So this one here, we've applied like a neon style to this building and it's turned out really quite good. Or you can upload a photo like this one here and start to apply art styles to it, such as a chalk style or even like a drawing style and even converting it into say a Renaissance painting like what we have here. And of course I tried that with my own artwork on this, uh, what I call my Muay Thai guy and got a pretty interesting, interesting result also. Try it again with Batman, with this photograph of a cityscape, and the results I thought were truly impressive. But you can also try things like depth to image, where I uploaded this image of a city and this other 3D render to create a really futuristic looking city with the same layout as the photo. Now, while the process I've shown you won't change greatly, you are still only scratching the surface with the ideas and things we've tried here in today's video. Your imagination and any images you have on file are pretty much free game for you to come up with something really unique and creative using this style transfer. So first of all, I wanna thank Leonardo AI for sponsoring the video. Check them out with the link in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please consider giving a video a like. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you again soon.